Hey future game developers, this is part 2 on how to make a first person shooter game using Unity. Now if you haven't watched my first video on this tutorial, um, I, I recommend you watching it then coming to this video, unless if it's too easy for you and you want something more advanced. Now we're not going to get into scripting yet in this video, um, let's just get everything besides scripting done. Now this video we're going to get through a lot of stuff um, pretty fairly quickly so you might want to replay the video a few times to just get a hang of it. So like the last video you might have realized um, once you entered play mode if you follow the steps there was no sky at all it wasn't very realistic so how we're going to uh, um, edit the sky mode we're going to go to render settings that is found under edit render settings so once you go to render settings you're gonna go to skybox material now how are you gonna get the skybox materials you're gonna go to assets import new package skyboxes so you find that there I already um, uh, went ahead and done that so once you have it imported you go to render settings skybox material click on the little circle and fi find the skybox you need um, or you want sorry and there we go so now we got a simple skybox there it looks much much better than how it looked before so let's enter play mode and just test it there we go that looks much better so now let's exit play mode um, one thing we're gonna do in this video is how to make a mini map so if you don't want a mini map you can skip this step but right now we're gonna create a basic mini map for your game you gotta go to um, game object create other camera so once we created a camera there we have a camera. So um, first of all, when you just imported the camera, you've got it there. So you go to the projection view and make sure that's orthographic so it doesn't draw depth. Now let's drag it up and rotate the camera. Um, so it faces kind of an aerial view to the player. Now once we've got that, uh, let's just put the clipping planes as low as possible because um, so it doesn't clip anything. And so now let's drag it a little up, upward, and rescale the camera. So there we go, that's a little better. And let's keep it like that for now, that's good. Uh, let's just bring it there a little. There we go. So uh, once you've got that camera there, uh, next thing you want to do is go to the depth area. Make sure it's uh, the depth is 1. So once you've got that, you go to the game scene right up here, mattering on your layout, uh, and make sure uh, make sure it's anywhere top right, top left. I would go top right. So we have to go to normalize the viewing area. So just uh, um, adjust it the way you want, and let's just go. That's a little too small there. Uh, that's too big. Uh, so you can play around, uh, figure out what you want. There we go. So for now, that's good for our, for our test. So once you've got that done, you want to parent the first person, no, sorry, the main camera to the camera. So just drag it into the main camera. And there we go. So let's just test the game. So there we go. You've got a basic little mini map there going. Uh, you can play around to make it better the way you want. So once we created a mini map, now what we're gonna do is add in weaponry for the player to hold. Now, first of all, we'll need gun models to import into the game. Uh, I've created a free first-person shooter kit for you guys to download. You can find it in one of my previous videos, and also have it in the link in the description below. Free to download. It includes eight gun models and a hand model for the gun to be held. Uh, now let's just choose a gun from my uh, kit. Let's go with the M4A3. So let's just drag it into the game. Um, it's small, so let's rescale it. Uh, I'll go 100 on all axes. Uh, that is still too small, so we'll go 800. Oops. That is too big. So 500. There we go. That is the perfect size. So once you've got it sized up, wow. Once you got it sized up, uh, you want to rotate it. Actually, that is a little too big. So let's just go 300. There we go. So that's better. So as you can see, as you got it rescaled, um, you want to go click on the main camera. And mattering on the direction, you want the 
gun model facing the same direction. So let's go for the M43 and drag it, uh, rotate it to the same direction. So there we go, 90 degrees. And you want the shooting where you would shoot to uh, be pointing in that area, of course. So let's dra drag it into the first person controller. Kind of, uh, now let's go to the main camera. As you can see in the main camera view, you can see the gun there. So, but it's a little low. So let's add, let's move, let's move the gun, let's adjust the gun. So let's go to the M43. This will take a little time. Uh, you can play around with it yourself. Now I've got my uh, gun positioned, and one thing you you have to make sure is once you click on the main camera, you uh, have to really minimize the clipping plane, so uh, it will like really mess up your game if you don't. So let's make the clipping planes as low as possible. So let's go 0 0.01. So as you can see in the main camera, the, the gun is positioned well. Now we need to add in the hand to hold the gun. So I've added in the hand into the game, and let's drag it in um, to be realistic. Like to, you can experiment and play around yourself with this, just like any other thing. Let's go to the main camera view. As as you can see, there's a hand right there, but let's just fix it a little. It's not really um, well. So let's move the hand a little, rotate it. There we go. Main camera. And that's a little better. I just move the hand a little. So now we perfected it, I think. Let's just check the main camera view. Perfect. So once you've got that, uh, this is very, very important. You want to parent the main camera, uh, sorry, the M4A3 to the first person controller. And you want, after you want to uh, parent the first person hand to the controller so well now we go into the game uh, play so we click the play button and there we go uh, as you can see there's there the player is holding the gun but uh, as we look up the gun doesn't follow the camera so what we have to do now is parent both the gun and the hand for the main camera so dragging the first person hand to the main camera um, and the gun of course so once we've got that, let's go to test mode and let's see. So there we go now, it's finally following, the hand is finally following the camera. As you might have tested the game yourself, you might have realized it wasn't really realistic how the gun movement, so uh, it, it was static so far. So now we're going to add gun movement to the gun and the hand itself. So I have a ready-made script. Um, provided in the link in the description below, free to download of course. Um, and so with that script, I'm going to show you how to make gun movement. So as we test the game right now, you can see that the gun is static with the hand. When you move around, the, gun, the hand and the gun just stays in the same place. It doesn't move at all. So how are we going to edit that? With my uh, gun movement script, JavaScript, uh, we're going to drag it in to the... Wait, first, let's maximize the first person first person controller and the main camera so we're gonna drag in hopefully you have the M4 A3 parented to the main first person hand parent to the M4 A3 and then we're gonna drag in the gun movement to the first person hand so once you got it there you wanna drag the first person hand to the gun here game object gun so now once we test the game as you can see there is gun movement with the hand so it looks much more realistic than it did before with this simple JavaScript I have ready made and free for you guys to download now we're gonna add in a crosshair to our game I have a ready made script uh, provided in, in the first person shooter kit that I made for free and also made a picture of a crosshair so it's all in the link in description below so first things first we have to drag in the crosshair script into the main camera so once you got into the main camera, make sure you have the picture imported, the crosshair picture imported. So you go to main camera, and under crosshair script, you want to select this uh, texture 2D. Click on a little circle and select the crosshair. Once we've done that, now let's test the game. And there we go. As you can see, there's a little crosshair. 
that was part two on how to make a first person shooter game using Unity. I'll be releasing part three soon, which will include uh, how to make your gun actually shoot and uh, more for scripting and animation and stuff like that. So subscribe um, and follow my videos. And yeah, so see you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah